Angeles. It's the third annual Crystal Light National Aerobic Championship, featuring regional finalists from all across the United States, competing for the title of America's best aerobic athlete. We are the winners, watch us For tonight's championship, the star of TV's hit comedy series, Growing Pains, Alan Thicke. From Matt's Landing, the very talented and beautiful Terry Austin. Plus, those two electric performers with their chart copy hit, Thanks of Love, Terry White and Jeff Norber. And a special guest interview with superstar and fitness expert, Raquel Welch. The reigning 1986 Crystal Light National Aerobic Champions. of the finest, fittest aerobic athletes from all across the USA. First in the mixed pairs competition, from LA's aerobic body works, Linda McHugh and Chris Galen. From New York, Karen Amon and Tim Callahan. From Detroit's workout company, Jackie Chabot and David McKay. From Boca Raton studio, Kim Fortin and Alan Churfield. From Portland's Princeton Club, Janine Peterson and Mark Castillo. From Austin's body business, Melody Warner and Russ Boyer. From Denver Superbodies, Lisa Velasquez and Jim Winkleman. From Pennsylvania's Welderoth Academy, Lori Welderoth and Billy Ross. From Sacramento's Total Body Workout, Donna Zior and Eddie Stevens. And from Miami Health Club, Taraj Millward and Jojo Vela. In the teams competition. From Brenda's Body Shop in Maryland, Brenda Brosnahan, Gail Bosley and Don Panther. From the Valley Racket Club in Denver, Trish Hahn, Barb Christensen, and Maureen Russell. From Valley Health Connection in Orlando, Mona Hartnett, Debbie Harvey, and Marissa McKeachin. From the San Francisco Bay Club, Andre Hooley, Troy Markle, and Jeff Vandiver. From the Texas Club in Dallas, Scott Cole, Terry Lilly, and Noah York. From Aerobics West in Los Angeles, Sandy Lewis, Denise Stein, and Cheryl Moorhart. From Movement Inc. in Chicago, Carol Lundin, Debbie Hennessy, and Debbie Reichenbach. From Downtown Athletic Club in Baltimore, Judy Walters, Gary Lairs, and Tyrone Parker. From Billings Athletic Club in Montana, Lynn Morris, Susan Twitty, and Jamie Faulkner. From LA's Aerobic Body Works, Chris Galen, Eddie Gomez, and Jack Inman. in the individual competition. From Holman Pebbleway Athletic Club in Seattle, Lynn Caroni. From Sherry Lynn World of Fitness in New Jersey, Annette LeMay Corbo. From the Royal Athletic Club in San Francisco, Kim Wells. From the Callan Athletic Club in Texas, Mel Blackwell. From the firm in Minneapolis, Jim Miller. From Brenda's Body Shop in Maryland, Brenda Brosnahan. From the Valley Racket Club in Denver, Trish Hahn. From Valley Health Connection in Orlando, Mona Hartnett. And from the San Francisco Bay Club, Jeff Vandiver. And now, our host, Honorary Chairman of the International Sport for Peace Foundation and Special Advisor to the National Fitness Foundation, Alan Thick. Group. Hello and welcome to the third annual Crystal Light National Aerobic Championship. 
Now, thousands of athletes have competed all year, leaving us the 60 best, and from those we'll determine the six U.S. champions. Now, as you've just heard, I am the honorary chairman of the National Sports for Peace Foundation. Yes, thank you, thank you. Don't get up. Yes. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, boy, he deserves that. Some are saying, what the heck is that? But in that role, I am honored to be invited to events like this, saluting fine athletes in superb condition, doing things you didn't think possible with muscles you didn't know you had. Now, like many of you folks, I personally always looked for the easy way to fitness. I was using the John Houseman workout tape. My big exercise was bench pressing a stack of pancakes in the morning. But then I tried aerobics. Now, you know it's time for a change when you go bicycle riding and your cheeks get caught in the spokes. So I became a semi-vegetarian. I only eat animals who eat vegetables. I tried diet pills. You know, they're supposed to speed up your metabolism. They made me eat faster. Uh, a friend of mine ate only natural foods, natural bread, natural fruits. He died of natural causes. So tonight, the theme is fitness. You'll meet the healthiest, fittest, most talented competitors. These people are not only inspirational, they're downright perspirational. They'll be competing in three aerobic events, mixed pairs, teams, and individuals. Now, this week, our 60 semifinalists competed to find out who would become the top aerobic athletes in the United States. When we return, the spirit and the challenge of competition will begin, so don't you dare go away. The Crystal Light National Aerobic Championship is brought to you by Crystal Light, America's favorite low-calorie soft drink mix, available in eight natural flavors. You know, most men will admit that they hate going places where the girls who turn them on turn them down. Now, that's reason enough for a lot of guys to work out. And with us tonight is the kind of woman men show off for. She's not only in great condition physically, her career is also in great shape. She sizzles on knots landing. She's also a very nice person. This is Terry Austin. Thank you. Our competitors have trained for months, perfecting their highly skilled aerobic moves into routines. Each routine must include four compulsory exercises. And here to demonstrate these required movements, the Canadian national aerobic champion, Tracy Shatanis. The Japanese national aerobic champions, Ken and Kamiko Kikuchi. And of course, the United States national aerobic champion, Allison Brown. Now, let's have a look at what the judges will be concentrating on. Four consecutive push-ups. Four consecutive high kicks. Four consecutive sit-ups. And four consecutive jumping jacks. Proper execution of these four compulsory moves account for 60% of a competitor's total score. The remaining 40% is awarded for overall presentation, which includes originality of the routine and the competitor's overall appearance and enthusiasm. Thank you, Terry. Now you all know what our judges are looking for, and you can bet they have found it here. Let's see if you people at home agree. With me are the ten mixed pair semi-finalists you met at the opening of tonight's show. And here now is the judges' decision on our three finalists. Representing Aerobic Body Works in Los Angeles, Linda McKee and Chris Galen. Representing the Workout Company in Detroit, Michigan, Jackie Chabot and David McCabe. Performing first, representing Total Body Workout in Sacramento, Donna Zior and Eddie Stevens. Winning this contest to me would be a lot of fun, a lot of travel, and just a terrific time. Winning the championship would mean the opportunity of a lifetime. We're really looking forward to it.
competition is so different because the judges are all qualified. All of them are very involved in the aerobic world and, and are kinesiologists or physiologists. That's important. And the, and the competitors themselves are extremely talented individuals as well in the industry. And representing Aerobic Body Works in Los Angeles, Linda McHugh and Chris Galen. I met Linda when I was taking a class, and she was the instructor, and I knew as soon as I saw her high energy, I had to have her as my partner. And Chris was giving out so much energy in class, I knew we'd make a great mixed pair team. Plus, Jeff Larber and Karen White with their smash hit Thanks of Love when the Crystal Light National Aerobic Championship returns. Welcome back. Tonight's athletes have been judged in local competitions. They were judged in regional finals. These people have been judged by everybody but Judge Wapner. And now there's more. Right, Terry? Right you are, Mr. Thick. You know, Alan, there's only one thing harder than performing these highly skilled routine, and that's having to judge them. So we've lined up seven real pros. Kathy Davis, co-founder and executive director of the International Dance Exercise Association. <laughs> Associate director of the Kenneth Cooper Aerobic Activity Center in Dallas, Tony Azell. <laughs> Chairperson for the Committee on Standards for Aerobic Competitions, Mary Ann Benton. Group manager of Crystal Light, Don Press. 1984 Olympic Games double gold medal winner in track, Evelyn Ashford. 1984 Olympic gold medalist for diving, Greg Luganis. And president and founder of Jazzercise, Judy Shepard Missett. 
Thanks, Terry. Here's one last look at our three mixed pair finalists before we announce our new champions. Representing Total Body Workout from Sacramento, Donna Zior and Eddie Stevens. Representing Workout Company from Detroit, Jackie Chabot and David McKay. Representing Aerobic Body Works from Los Angeles, Linda McHugh and Chris Gale. Now to present the official mixed pair results, the 1986 Mixed Pair Champions. What a coincidence. Susie Stone and Barry Joyce. Okay. Now, Barry is last year's winner. He's over the hill now. Look at the way he's let himself go. Barry. <laughs> All right, 1987 Mixed Pair Champions are Donna Zior and Eddie Smith. Here's an interesting fact for those inquiring minds out there who want to know. Did you know that you can actually burn more calories, how can I say this, uh, intensely hugging and kissing than you can by playing golf? And if you try that intense hugging in a sand trap, you can really do yourself some good. <laughs> now this is just one of those universal facts of love and an incredibly subtle way to introduce a big hit song from Karen White and Jeff Lorber, Facts of Love. <laughs> Just ahead, we'll see the finals in the team competition and share fitness secrets with one of the world's most beautiful women, Raquel Welch, as the Crystal Light National Aerobic Championship continues. Welcome back. You've seen the mixed pairs. Now we come to the team competition. Each team consists of three people, either all male, all female, any combination of the two, check one of the above. 
Synchronization becomes a key factor in winning this difficult event. From 10 talented teams of semifinalists, here are the three top finalists. From the Texas Club in Dallas, TC3, Scott Cole, Terry Lilly, and Noah York. From the San Francisco Bay Club in San Francisco, the bad boys, Andre Hull, Troy Marshall, Jeff Vandenberg. And performing first, representing Aerobic Body Works in Los Angeles, Eddie and the Cruisers, Chris Gale and Eddie Gomez and Jack Emmer. Our style is mostly aerobics. It's powerful, it's fast, but safety is considered into the routine. I really like performing together. Um, performing together for us is uh, sharing of energy is great. I just think of the precision and the power of our routine and to have a good time. The best thing about working with these guys is I love competing with them and they're my best friends. The best part of performing with these two guys is they keep me in line and it's a lot of fun. Describe our acting when we're in we're hot. Presenting the Texas Club from Dallas, TC3, Scott Cole, Terry Lilly, and Noah York. We like to perform, and we're also in the fitness business, and it's a great way to combine the two. <laughs> we are out there, I am very nervous, but I think it adds to the routine. Well, we're all hot in our routine, we work real hard together, and that's the way you can to keep it.
Low Impact Aerobics is a new form of dance exercise that may be the hottest fitness trend of the year. Our 1986 champions demonstrate a high energy and safe low impact workout from their best selling home video. In low impact, one foot is kept on the floor at all times. Instead of jumping and jogging, marching and dance walk combinations are paired with vigorous upper body movement. Coming up, the excited announcement of the team winners. And Raquel Welch shares her secrets on staying fit. All next on the Crystal Light National Aerobic Championship. Well, let's take one last look at our three team finalists before announcing our new team champions. Representing Aerobic Body Works from Los Angeles, Eddie and the Cruisers, that's Chris Galen, Eddie Gomez, and Jack Inman. Representing the San Francisco Bay Club from San Francisco, here are the Bad Boys, Andre Poole, Troy Markle, and Jeffrey Vandiver. And representing the Texas Club from Dallas, TC3, Scott Cole, Terry Lilly, and Noah York. As part of their grand prize, each of tonight's winners will be flown to glamorous Palm Springs, California. We don't know how they'll get back. But while they're there, they will have a week's vacation for two, or two weeks vacation for one, at the Marriott Desert Springs Resort and Spa. Good luck to all of them. Now let's find out who the winners are. Presenting the gold medals are the 1986 team champions, Madonna Grimes, Kathy Murray, and Judy Traconis. And the best presentation of an envelope is Madonna. The best aerobic team in all the United States is... TC3, Scott Cole, Terry Lilly, New York, Taz Club in On his 80th birthday, George Bernard Shaw was asked for advice on how he managed to live such a long life. He said it was because he never smoked, drank, or touched a girl until he was nearly 10 years old. Well, Mr. Shaw never made a fitness video. We checked it out. But Raquel Welch has. And an exercise book that became a nationwide top 10 seller. Raquel now has a sequel to that video called A Week with Raquel. And she's joining us tonight from New York City. Welcome, Raquel. Hi, Alan. A week with Raquel, that sounds like a dream come true. <laughs> no, no. I'll tell you what it's about, Alan. It's a kind of new method that I've devised. Because I think that in lots of ways, physical perfection has become kind of an obsession. And body beautiful is really not that important to, let's say, 90% of the people in the world today. And I have to confess that even I don't have time every single day for a whole hour, or hour and a half of exercise. So I found this sort of seven-day method of 15 minutes every morning, or afternoon, if you prefer, where you can do something for yourself for a feeling of well-being and health. It's a philosophy that a little bit every day is better than a whole bunch every once in a while. Now, basically, your routine is based on yoga. Why is that? Well, the answer to that question is simply because uh, that's the only form I can do. <laughs> I'm really a total flunk out and a wipe out in aerobics or weightlifting or most of the sort of conventional exercise programs that are out today. They're just, quite frankly, out of reach for me. The other reason that I chose it is for a kind of philosophical reason. It truly is a nonviolent method. It's about harmony with yourself and the world around us. And I think that there's that's really the important thing to strive for in today's world. All right, Raquel, you feel brave enough to dish some dirt now? Yeah. Tell us the truth. Do you ever cheat on your exercise routine? Absolutely. I love to cheat. That's the whole fun part. You know you're not supposed to. 
But then you make up for it later. It's okay. <laughs> All right, if we're following along a week with Raquel, how much can we hope to accomplish in a week or a month? In the first week, look for a little bit of awkwardness and stumbling around and getting acquainted. And then the second week, things kind of s start to fall into place. And then the third week, you start to feel pretty good about yourself and think you can do just about anything. Have your way. Well, thank you very much, Raquel. It's a pleasure seeing you again, as always. And best of luck with the book and the video. Thank you, Alan. And good night, George Bernard Shaw, wherever you are. Alan, I must say, if there's one thing that Raquel leaves us with, it's the sense that she's a woman of classic beauty and style. And after all, style and fashion and fitness all go together to create the perfect image. It used to be that we dressed down to work out, but now dressing down is the height of dressing up. Fashions once seen only in the health clubs are now all the rage on the streets of Beverly Hills and New York. Let's take a look at some of the latest in Sweat Chic by Mile High. Come out of here on the floor! <laughs> compete in the next Crystal Light National Aerobic Championship. Get your pencils ready. We'll tell you how in just a few minutes. You know, from the thousands of athletes who competed in the regional competitions throughout the USA, we're now down to the nine semifinalists here tonight. And to narrow the field even further, here are the judges' decisions on our three finalists. From the Bally Health Connection in Orlando, Mona Hartnett. And from the San Francisco Bay Club in San Francisco, Jeff Vandiver. And performing first, from the Royal Athletic Club in San Francisco, Kim Webb. What I think about most when I'm performing is pleasing the audience and making sure that I have everything right for the judges.
I love to do aerobics because it is something that is so enjoyable and it's part of my life. Fitness is important to me. connection in Orlando, Mona Hartman. The toughest part about being an individual competitor is that most of the time when you're in a team or a pair, you have someone to play off of. Individually, it's just you, and you have to use your personality as much as possible. decision on America's top aerobic athlete next. And if you would like to compete in one of the regional competitions of the Crystal Knight National Aerobic Championship, then here's how you do it. Send a stamped self-addressed envelope to the Crystal Knight National Aerobic Championship, 9110 Sunset Boulevard, Suite 212, Los Angeles, California, 90069. I think our three finalists deserve a curtain call, don't you? So let's welcome them back for one last look. This is from the Royal Athletic Club in San Francisco, Kim Wells. <laughs> Finalist number two from the San Francisco Bay Club, Jeff Vandiver.
Well, thank you very much for joining us. That's all for tonight. No, we Alan, hope you've... the exciting moment. The exciting moment the exciting we haven't moment. even gotten to yet. Yes, one of our three finalists is about to become national champion. The six champions selected tonight will carry the honor and prestige of their titles touring America and abroad as members of the Crystal Light National Aerobic Championship team. So here with the judge's decision, the 1986 individual champion, Allison Brown. All right, this is the exciting moment. This is One exciting. of many tonight. And now, the winner, the best aerobic athlete in all of America is Jeff Bendigo from the Sacramento Bay Club. Thank you all for joining us. Remember to stay fit. It was a pleasure working with you tonight. Uh, as always, Mr. Thick. And uh, maybe you and I will compete next year. Right. But not against Jeff. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun for us. Thank you. We'll see you next time and not a moment sooner. Crystal Light National Aerobic Championship is brought to you by Crystal Light, America's favorite low-calorie soft drink mix, available in eight natural flavors. The Crystal Light National Aerobic Champions will soon be touring the USA. For information on how to arrange an appearance by the champions at your club or special event, call Championship Headquarters at 213-278-9700. Marriott's Desert Springs, a Palm Desert Resort and Spa, offers you the ultimate in fitness, body treatments, beauty services, fine spa cuisine, golf, and tennis. Call 1-800-228-9290. The idea, the association for the dance exercise professionals, serving aerobic instructors in all 50 states and 34 countries around the world. Competitors stay at the beautiful Los Angeles Midtown Hilton, Hollywood's newest star, offering guests a unique urban resort atmosphere in the heart of the city. Distributed by the SFM Entertainment Division of SFM Media Corporation.